David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today, I have for you a Black Friday partnership between the Italian retailers Stilo and & Stile and Leonardo. Uh, over the last few years, the limited edition pens Stilo and Stile have had a hand in producing have been outstanding. Um, I'll share some of them during the size comparisons, but they have really done a good job of hitting it out of the park with these limited editions. Today, I'll be sharing with you the latest of those releases, which actually goes on sale right now, the moment this video is posted. Uh, they are two space-themed Leonardo Memento Zero models called Andromeda and Via Letetta. Uh, Andromeda is the closest neighboring galaxy to the Milky Way, where we currently reside, and Via Letetta is Milky Way in Italian. Um, I wanted to spend time on both of these pens during this review, so I think the best way to do that would be to join me over here at camera two. Okay, so we have two models to look at. There is the Andromeda, uh, as well as the Via Latea. Um, as you can see here, they are both Memento Zero models, uh, and they are space-themed. Um, now, I mentioned this previously, uh, Andromeda is the nearest major galaxy to the Milky Way. It's 2.5 million light years away from Earth. Uh, just as comparison as of how far that is, uh, the distance from the Earth to the Sun is 0.00002 light years. Uh, like the Milky Way, Andromeda is a spiral galaxy. You can see that they look somewhat similar. Now, something you might not know, uh, Andromeda is actually heading toward the Milky Way galaxy at approximately a quarter million miles an hour. Uh, in around 4.5 billion years, it's estimated that the Milky Way and Andromeda will merge into a huge galaxy. Uh, Andromeda is much larger than the Milky Way. Uh, it has around 1 trillion stars, and the Milky Way has around 300 billion. Now, I did some research on this, and the details are a bit lengthy to go into here, but if you happen to still be here in 4.5 billion years from now, uh, needless to say, it will not be a very pleasant time. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at one of these pens. Let's go ahead and unbox this. There is the outer sleeve, and then inside we have the standard Leonardo box. And inside we have a uh, little use and care guide. And then inside there we have the pen. So this is the Andromeda. And you can see in comparison to kind of a picture of what the galaxy looks like, it does have a lot of that purplish atmosphere here uh, and a purplish tone, which I care for. And then this right here is the Via Latea, which let's go ahead and put that up there. And you can see that this is a little more uh, lighter. And this is what the Via Latea looks like in comparison to that. This is what they both look like together. I think they do a really good job of depicting the look of space and just that deep space feel to them. Uh, this purple is more polished on the Andromeda and then for the Via Latea, uh, it has more of a matte finish. You can see here that there are certain areas that are more opaque and then there are certain areas that are more transparent or translucent rather. Uh, it has uh, still a little bit of translucency to it and it's just kind of spotty throughout uh, just to add a little bit of uh, variation to the material. You're not going to be using it uh, as ink windows because it's going to be varying depending on every model that you choose. Um, I also like that the, um, the, the Andromeda model here has ruthenium trim uh, as opposed to the uh, silver colored trim or the uh, uh, rhodium trim here on the Via Latea. I also like that the, uh, the ruthenium trim is translated into the section housing as well as the back portion here of the converter. I just think that that's nice that it's translated through here. Uh, and then the Via Latea, like I mentioned previously, then has the silver colored trim. 
In regard to the parts and features, I know we've looked at a lot of Memento Zero models. The end has kind of a slightly coned tip to it that's rounded. Um, it has a really nice uh, wheeled clip that I enjoy. Uh, and then there are three rings in the transition. There's just a slight step down to the barrel, which then tapers down until you have the end here, which is a bit of a blind cap. Now, I will say this has not been my favorite feature on a Leonardo pen, just because, I, it, for me, not enough of the converter sticks out. I wish a little bit more stuck out, because if I tried to twist this, I find myself gripping more on the section threads here, and it's just hard for me to grip this. I mean, I don't have the largest hands, but it just isn't that useful for me, personally. Now, in theory, you could ink up the pen without having to uh, uh, take off the barrel, but personally, I prefer to take it off because then I like to see what are the uh, the quality of the fill that I'm receiving. So I like to see that fill in there. So I always take the barrel off to uh, go ahead and ink this pen, but you have the option to use this blind cap if you so choose. Then just as a comparison, you can see what it looks like with the black nib on the Andromeda, uh, as well as the uh, rhodium plated nib on the Via Latea. I think they both look nice. The sections on these pens have what I describe as uh, Leonardo's ergonomic section. Uh, maybe you can see it just a little bit more on here, uh, where it, tier, it basically stair steps up. There's a lower tier, and then there's a higher tier here. Even though the threads are on this higher tier, if your grip should rest on them, they're not sharp at all. And, and this step up is far enough back that I don't feel it gets in the way. Uh, these pens are plenty long enough to use unposted. They do post, and they do post securely. And I don't find that the cap is uh, so heavy that it backweights the pen or throws off the balance at all. In regard to price, uh, like I mentioned, that these are available uh, previously only on the Stilo and Stile website. Uh, they are limited editions. Uh, there are 260 of the Andromeda, and there are only 80 of these Via Lateas. Uh, the price for these will be 145 euros. Uh, it's 178 euros for uh, EU-based customers. Uh, and that uh, when you go onto the site, you'll see that there's a Black Friday coupon code with 15% off. So uh, these turn into 124 euros uh, and then 151 euros for EU-based customers, which is nice. In regard to some size comparisons, I had mentioned that Stilo and Stile has done uh, a number of really nice uh, collaborations. Uh, this is their Cometa from last year on Black Friday, and I just really love this material. Again, space-themed, but I just think it provides an interesting look. Uh, they also had a really nice, this is a uh, this is a Leonardo uh, Pura, which is almost it's slightly different than their uh, Memento Zero Grande model, but I really like that size of a model. And then there is their recent Prism model, which is from the Leonardo offshoot brand Radius. And that's what it looks like in comparison to those. Then we had a Memento Magico that was a, a really nice green color. Uh, and then there was a, uh, a micarta version earlier this year that I thought turned out really nice. And then something that wasn't a Leonardo model was they came out with a uh, Opus 88 model that I thought turned out nicely as well. So I, I think that Stilo and Stile has done a really good job with their partnerships coming up with some very unique and eye-catching designs. In regard to uncapped comparisons, uh, here's what it looks like with the um, radius. And then here it is with the Opus 88. And finally, here it is with the Pura. Okay, here we go with the writing sample for the Leonardo. Uh, Momento Zero. Oh, we'll say that this is with Stilo and Stile. Uh, and this one is the Andromeda. And this is a broad stainless steel nib. 
Uh, and the ink that I'm using here, since this pen is called Andromeda, I thought it would be appropriate enough to use Colorverse Andromeda. This is what the ink looks like. I thought it was nice that it is kind of a purplish, like a deep purple with uh, some uh, golden uh, accents to it. Uh, I thought that it was nice that uh, the Andromeda ink matched the Andromeda pen and looked nice in it. Uh, this is what that color looks like in regard to uh, Private Reserve Plum. And then here it is with Califolio Andronopal. This is what the 65 milliliter Colorverse bottles look like. Always have a very unique shape uh, and a nice wide top here so you can get just about any pen in here. Uh, Colorverse has a lot of space themed inks as well as other ones uh, and uh, just a really nice ink line. And then we had the Via Latea. So we'll just say here that we have the Via Latea, L A. Uh, T T E A, and this is with a medium stainless steel nib. And the ink I'm using here is Dominant Industries and this is Milky Way. Oh, okay, Milky Way doesn't start with a B. Milky Way Blue. Since this pen was named after the Milky Way, I thought it was appropriate to have a Milky Way Blue ink. Uh, this is one of my favorite new inks, uh, maybe new to me, but it's a nice vibrant blue uh, with some lighter blue sheen to it. It's just really nice. Looks somewhat similar uh, in regard to some of the characteristics as Diamine Bloody Brexit, uh, as well as Diamine's Skull and Roses. This is what the Dominant Industry bottles look like. Uh, this is their Pearl series. You can see that it has a bit of shimmer in there, a bit of pearl shimmer that if you shake it up, then that goes away because it's inside the ink. But uh, these are really nice inks and I look forward to picking up more from Dominant Industries because I've really enjoyed this one. So let's kind of do a size comparison between the broad and the medium. So we have Uh, and then, you know what, we'll just do the medium right away, directly underneath it. Uh, both of them are very nice. The... Um, We'll just say with uh, with this one, you're not going to get a lot of line variation out of either of those. You can get a, a bit. That wasn't a skip. That was me lifting off slightly. That's pressing quite a bit. The ink flow on this medium is decent. And then let's take a look at the broad. It's again rather stiff in regard to the flexibility that you're not going to get a lot there. But um, the ink flow is generous on this as well. It's a rather wet, broad nib. And then in regard to some fast writing, here it is with the broad. And then here it is with the medium. And both keep up just fine. So there you have the Leonardo and Stilo and Stile Momento Zero. This is the Andromeda and the Via Latea. Uh, I think that both of these look really sharp. As I mentioned, there's only going to be 260 of the Andromedas and only 80 of the Via Lateas. Uh, and so if these are something that interests you, I would strongly suggest uh, taking a look at them sooner rather than later on Black Friday, because I have a feeling that both of these will sell out rather quickly. Okay, until next time, 
Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.